Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are here um, to make our first attempt to start the Camaro today. Um, and as you'll see that our wires look a complete mess, but uh, it's, everything is just tempt in just for us to, to start it. And then after that, we're gonna work on putting the wires where they're supposed to go. Uh, so it is kind of control that we know where everything is doing and going, but yeah, it's not ideal uh, to say the least. Uh, so guys, we are actually working on uh, the fuel system right now to get everything in place. And let's go ahead and get right into it. So we got a gas we can try and figure out. Then after that, we are going to make another attempt here we definitely can't have any gas leaks before we attempt to crank this bad boy up uh oh okay turn the key back on let me see all right going to turn the key back on yeah all right here we go key is on stop stop okay Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I can't get to that right now. Jesus. Now I know I saw in videos that they cut the little opening up so they can get to the fuel. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's leaking behind this bracket right here. Behind that bracket? Okay. Yeah. I'll move that bracket. All right, I'm going to run this whole new line down here. I just what I'm trying to do right now. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Thank you. Oh, let me get it. All right, guys, so it's still a process here. We got a lot more to do, but we got a lot accomplished. We got the computer wired in. We got our relays, even though I know it's not the greatest. I kind of wanted to show you the final product of our relays, but uh, it definitely hasn't been mounted, but at least I can kind of show you what we got here. So we got our relay pack here with our fuses installed. We got our Five, uh, 12 volt regulator that's in place that's for the clean vo uh, voltage to the uh, computer so the computer got to have clean switch voltage so when it goes on and off we don't have any spikes that would damage that computer all right all right guys so we did finally figure out where the gas leak was at and he, he had to repipe some of the gas lines um we ended up running a little late that night and you, as you saw with all the wiring and everything we kind of left it uh for another visit but what i'm going to do is jump to the next visit so you can actually see us um make our first attempt at uh getting this car started So it's missing? It's not running operational because the computer ain't... That's okay. That belt going to come off too. No, I'm going to pop it off. That, that pump, I've seen it. That pump was uh, it's going this way. Uh -huh. I think I bent it, but I can bend it back out. Oh. Uh. have to take the computer back in and go through it because it's, it's, it's definitely not feeding the, uh, the ignition 
I mean, the uh, coils and stuff, that, that, all that wire is dead. Okay. Not doing anything. Yeah, ain't doing nothing. All right, guys. <clears throat> we had another night over at the uh, garage. Um, good news, though. We did finally get the car to crank up, which is great. Uh, so that's one of the things that we showed in the video. Um, but <laughs> unfortunately, we we still don't have it right. So one of the things that we did uh, was we bypassed. The Holly system. The Holly was not turning on the coil packs or the ignitions, the uh, injectors. For whatever reason, it just it, it wasn't doing it. That's what we got to figure out why it's not doing it. Uh, we suspect maybe the wires that we got going to the Holly is not the gauge is not high enough, but we're not 100% sure. Or um, you know, but it's a start. So that's where we're going to work on start focusing on where everything is going to end up going for the final uh, home or resting place for the Holly. I'm going to try to get that inside the car. Uh, we also going to try to get the relays and everything mounted correctly. Uh, so it's going to be a process. It's going to take a little while before we get to that point.